Our presentation is covering off on this year as a business, has been helping our clients not just survive the COVID pandemic, but thrive through it. So obviously Esperance has been pretty isolated from the disease itself, but not necessarily the business impact. So we've rolled our sleeves up the last 12 months and really got down and dirty with our clients to help them get through this horrible pandemic. So given that it's approaching finals time, I thought we'd use a good old sporting analogy here and cover the good football strategy whereby we're going to work through the field starting in defence, working through to our forward line. So the defence, our main mantra there is to protect what you already have. What we look at there is things like, is your estate planning in order, meaning your wills, powers of attorney, powers of guardianship. Secondly, we have a good look at your business and investment structures. There's certainly ways you can structure your business and investment holdings, such that if business failure does occur or you are to be sued, then you can walk away with the shirt on your back intact. We then also talk to you about personal insurances. We're not authorised to advise on these personally, but we'll liaise with your insurance advisors. One thing that we see a lot is my business is my super. Certainly events like COVID and any number of other scenarios, your business can be attacked and a lot of things can be outside your control. Things can change with technology, economic downturns, new competition. So we like to encourage our clients to invest outside of their business. Other thing is having a plan B or a plan of attack in terms of succession strategy. So who can you sell or how may you exit your business in a profitable and tax effective way. Another little bit of gold, obviously when times get tough, have a cash buffer. Okay, so we're now moving to the midfield where we're gonna turn defense into attack. This is really the nuts and bolts of our business and really about doing the hard yards to position yourself to be able to progress in business. So a massive factor there is utilising the amazing technology that's available to us these days in helping you to systemise your business and automate those where possible. The more you can systemise, automate your business, involve technology, the safer you are. And right in the middle of it all, a good successful business needs a really strong team culture. Along the same lines, obviously employee retention strategies. Everyone knows the issues there, the loss of productivity when you lose key personnel. Okay, so then we're gonna move into our attacking phase of, of the oval. So really positioning ourselves for the opportunities. And a lot of this firstly is all about knowing your numbers. So know what your break even figure is. Basically knowing how many sales you have to make in a week, a month, a year, just to cover your costs so you can live another day. Another fantastic tool is having a budget and cash flow forecast. If you don't have a plan for where you're going, then you're basically not going to get there. Another tool that we provide for a lot of clients is doing interim financial statements and tax estimates. A massive thing in the last 12 months are the government incentives that have been around in terms of JobKeeper and cash flow boost. We put a massive amount of effort into making sure all our clients were accessing those incentives where available, but it didn't just stop there and it's not just around COVID types incentives. Depending on the industries, there's a lot of other incentives that you may be able to tap into. Expansion. Obviously when COVID hit, everyone's worried about survival, but with every crisis comes opportunity. So you might find that some of your competitors may have hit the wall in the last 12 months, and there may be opportunities to expand by acquiring one of your competitors and solidifying your position in the marketplace. And finally, renew your focus on what your customers actually want and need. Maybe go back to them and have a better look at are you delivering the services that they really want and need. So there we go, we've covered our oval from defensive strategies right through to attack. And it would be remiss of me obviously to mention that every good team needs a good coach and support staff. So get in contact with your accountant, financial advisor, business advisor or whomever it may be. Don't be afraid to start the conversation. The message there is don't try and do it all yourself. Speak up, speak out, get some help. You're gonna position yourself to get through this pandemic and along with the next hurdle that arises in the business world.